Greetings, we've just released a three track collection called Three Wise Women and we're at the point of creating videos to go with the tracks. You pretty much need videos these days. You need to be on YouTube. There's been a change recently in YouTube's policies. What they are not happy with now is just having a still picture while a track or an album or a mix is played. They actually want proper video something happening. We love making videos but one of the real challenges we have is the nature of our music and the kind of subject matter we cover makes it a bit tricky. If you do songs with a singer, if you're in a guitar band or an R&B band or something like that, you can do a lyric video. You can pretty much have anything going on and just play the lyrics. There's something for people to lock into, the lyrics. The majority of our music is instrumental, so lyric videos are not really the way we're going to go. If you play live, you can set up somewhere, get some cameras in and play one of your tracks live. That works really well. It's great for music marketing. If the version you play live is not the same as the recorded one, it's great. It's something extra to give to your fans. The problem with what we do is that because our music is rooted in fantasy and science fiction and the Middle East and places that don't actually exist here in the real world, it makes it very, very difficult for us. We don't have the money to create alien worlds or fantasy worlds using CGI. We don't have the resources for film sets or actors. We would love to have scenes of deserts and ruined castles and spacecraft landing on strange distant planets. We would love to have scenes of majestic snow-covered mountains with Viking ships rolling into a village on the shore. None of this is feasible. So we're kind of restricted to what we can find on various websites that provide footage for people to make videos. There are a few sites that have free content. It's limited and we've probably already used the good stuff. There are several sites that charge for video footage. That's absolutely fine. The trouble is we're on a very limited budget and often a 10 or 12 or 14 second clip of video might be 30 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds. If you've got a four minute track, you probably need a few of those clips. You can probably get away with repeating bits of them, but you're already up to hundreds of pounds just for your basic footage, which is just impractical. As I said, we've just put out a three track release and the idea of spending the money to get enough footage to make three videos that will probably never be seen by anybody anyway is it's just not going to happen. So we do what we can do with what we can get and we try and make it tolerably creative. We would probably love to work with animators or film students or someone who wants to have a go at working with our kind of music. The difficulty there is actually meeting those people and I truly believe that people should be paid for their work and we can pay very, very little, so it, it wouldn't be fair even if we met them. I don't really know what the answer is. So we will make the best videos we can with the limited resources we have. We're having fun anyway. So, hey. <laughs>